You're literally hurling toward a new kind of existence, a meta-existence. Come with me to 2035 and let's explore a day in the metaverse. Meet Kaylin, age 37, a gender fluid architect and the parent of six year old Ziff. As the founder of a virtual reality resort company, they're building the first Echo Inn in the metaverse. Kaylin also practices mixed martial arts and is pursuing their HMD, hallucinogenic medical degree. Kaylin awakens in their pre-programmed environment on a raft in the South Pacific. The gentle rocking of waves mimicked by haptic mattress implants so gently awakens them. Welcome to the Holographic Intergalactic Summit on Mars to discuss Kalen's hotel project. They excitedly decide to auction off NFTs, which contain a unique key that will open the doors to the Meta Resort before its official launch. Uh-oh! Kalen's biotracking chip reads high stress levels and prescribes an infusion of soaring psychedelics. They transform into an eagle avatar and fly over the Himalayas. One of Kaylin's avatars have lunch with their crypto accountant. One sends the latest designs for the Echo Resort. And they attend Ziff's poetry performance in person. A busy day. Security breach, security breach. Kaylin's childhood self-avatar while visiting ancestors was hack eliminated and needs to be revived. Kaylin goes shopping in Gucci's VR garden, choosing a jumpsuit spun from smart fibers that will intensify their sensory experiences at tonight's party. Kaylin's workout is a boxing match with Muhammad Ali's avatar. They then retreat and recover at the Meta Spa. Kaylin attends a Mercury Metaverse Masquerade Ball and is seduced by two other guests. One is human and one is an artificial intelligence bot. Then returns to reality, crashing at 4 a.m. Now that you've been immersed in the Metaverse, Questions and questions float up. What do you think? Can our human brain circuitry manage living in so many realms without a boost? 
How do we keep our avatar actions confidential and our identities secure while roaming in the metaverse? Who will police us in the metaverse? Will robbery, rape, and kidnapping and dog napping be punishable crimes? Can we really have friends and family if they only know us as avatars? Is it cheating if you have sex with an avatar? What will a brand have to do to create loyalty in the metaverse? How much will we pay to stay immortal in the metaverse? What kind of insurance will we need to protect our homes, our families, our businesses, even our places of worship in the metaverse? Will we retire to the metaverse? And finally, will the metaverse be the domain of the 1%? How will the less privileged participate? Now that you know everything about tomorrow, what will you do differently today?